welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Monty Whirl, and today I'd like you to go ahead and subscribe, hit up the thumbs, and let's get into this new video I'm going to do, okay? So today we're going to be covering Merch by Amazon stuff. It's going to be a quick video, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use my shirt positioner, and you're going to get it absolutely free, no strings attached. I'm going to show you how to get it, and I'm going to show you how I use it. That's the goal of today. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are on the Merch by Amazon landing page. Upload your artwork, set your price, we print what you sell, ship fast with Prime, earn monthly royalties. If you're not already signed up, go ahead and request an invitation right here, okay? So unfortunately, you may have noticed with Merch by Amazon, we cannot reposition or resize our images, our designs, our text, or anything like that after it's on the shirt. Kind of like we have over here with Printful. On Printful, you can resize all you want, right? Resize it, reposition it. You'll notice like some designs on merch, people have their shirts are down here when they get their design on the stomach. Like nobody wants to wear a design or a logo down here, right? You'd want it up here, a couple inches down from the neckline. You'd want it centered. So basically what I'm gonna show you today, the shirt position that I use for Merch by Amazon. Now here's an example of it. This is what it looks like. That's our full canvas size right there. So you'll notice like some people have text or designs that fill up that whole space. And it looks great in a thumbnail on the Amazon platform when the customer is looking at designs, but when they get the shirt, it looks like a clown shirt. So most customers don't want to wear a shirt like that unless the design is meant to look like that. And you end up with a return. So how do we want to eliminate returns? Well, this is a great way to eliminate returns and help you in other areas for building your brands, having awesome shirts, okay? So this is how you get it. I'm gonna put the link in the description down below and it's absolutely free. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I use it. Before I move on, Printful. If you haven't signed up for Printful, um, I would sign up for that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I have an Etsy Printful book that I'm gonna go ahead and knock 20% off the book and put that in the description down below as well, just for being here watching this video. So don't forget to subscribe because this is where all the value is gonna come in, right here. Okay, so this is how we get it, okay? So you're gonna be like, yeah, I want this. And your email is gonna go right here. You're gonna be like, get. And you're gonna click download. Give it a second, it's downloading. Okay, so here we are, right? This is what it looks like. Now it's kind of bright, and you probably have a lot of designs that, you're like, oh, I can't see with that. So what you can do is you can turn down the opacity. The reason I'm using GIMP is because GIMP is a free photo editing software that anyone can, anyone can get. I earned my first $60,000 in royalties from Merch by Amazon using GIMP. So I know anyone can use it. And now, of course, we're using Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and all that. But this video is made for anyone from beginner to advanced. Anyone can follow these steps on any photo editing software. You can use this as a layer, okay? So let's go ahead and already set this example up. So let's say you have some text. Where would you place your text on this shirt positioner? Well, this is what I do right here. See where the text is? I would make it fit inside the red squares and center it, right? Okay, I have a center there, so it's centered in the center of the shirt. You see, notice how this is the end of the red and this is the end of the red. The red squares, you wanna keep your main portion of your designs and text within the red squares, unless you have a long design. This is my rule of thumb right here. Now let's say you have, let's say your your shirt's arched, like your text is arched a little bit, right? Well, this is the best example I can give on that. My new merch money design. So notice how the merch money words are in between the red squares, but the top of the money, the coin, goes above the red squares. 
that's okay. The main focus is merch money, so that's what's staying in inside the red squares. And the gravity point or the center point is above is a little higher right towards the top of the chest so your main focus point is right there that's how I use this tool if you have any questions go ahead and let me know happy to answer them drop your questions in the comments below send me a message on Facebook you know I'm always approachable so let's go ahead and make it happen